if you have hair in unwanted places that you are just tired of shaving, waxing, epilating, plucking, etc., this may be the product for you. Hey guys, it's Trailer Dale Wine Engine. Today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you my first impressions on this IPL hair removal uh, device that I bought on Amazon. This is what the box looks like. It just came in. I'm so excited to use it. I've done a lot of research on IPL and I have had professional laser hair removal done before. Just to clarify, IPL is not a laser. It's kind of like, think of a laser hair removal as like a laser pointer where it's very precise the light's very direct in one certain spot and IPL is more like a flashlight where the light can spread out but it is an intense light so IPL stands for intense pulse light and this is the IPL hair removal system I suppose there's no brand name on this box it just kind of says um, the same thing IPL hair removal in different languages underneath Let's take a look on the sides. I did open it and use it already, just to let you know. Um, it did come sealed, so that's good. And it shows you on the side here which skin tones it works for. Let me just zoom in so I can see. So really light. So I'll just hold my hand up to here and we'll see which one matches me. Um, okay, kind of too zoomed in. I'm kind of more like this one. But in real life, I look like this one. <laughs> but yeah, so it works for really light colors. But once you get into medium to darker colored skin tones, it's not going to work just based on their technology. Okay, so future tray here. And as I'm editing, I see the check marks more clearly because when I was filming, I couldn't see the little tiny check marks. But yeah, you can see that they did actually say it's okay to go pretty... Um, if you do have darker skin, it looks like unless you're super, super dark skin, then it's not okay. And that's because for this particular laser, in the instruction booklet after I read it, it says that uh, you have to just use it at a lower setting. So that's why. But, you know, to me it still seems a little risky, but it's up to you. In the instruction booklet, like it said in the check marks, it is okay to go up to a relatively darker skin. But you just have to, yeah use it at a very very light setting so it will probably take you a lot longer to see any results though there are uh, professional hair removal lasers that do work on darker skin skin tones if you are darker skinned and you do want to have your hair permanently reduced and potentially um, gone in certain areas you can go to a professional and ask about the YAG laser I believe it's called the ND YAG laser those work for darker skin tones as well and also if you do have lighter colored hairs like blonde silver gray or even red this laser method this light sorry not laser this IPL method will not work for you either because the IPL light technology targets the contrast in your skin so when it senses a basically dark areas it it will target and destroy those dark areas so if you are darker it can definitely burn and injure you so you don't want to use it and if you have lighter hair it's not going to sense it and it just won't work so definitely do not waste your money do not buy this product if you fit into those categories okay let's take a look at the rest of the box so I am very, very fair toned, if not like practically see-through skin color. Um, that's based on different things. When I was just born really light skinned and then also some conditions like health conditions that occurred to me over time, which caused my skin to literally thin out. And also I got diagnosed with vitiligo about mm, eight years ago, something like that. So that also means I have no pigment in certain spots of my skin. Uh, whether or not this is safe or not based on my research it should be safe it should not cause any skin cancers when you do have vitiligo you are more prone to skin cancers and sun due to sun exposure but this is not really like a uv light so it should be okay based on my research though definitely double check yourself if you have those conditions and yeah let's just get into the unboxing that was really long
That was a really long talking section. Sorry. Okay, so it's sealed on both sides. The lid just pops right off. Here is a very thick instruction booklet that normally I don't read the instructions, but in this case, you definitely should. Uh, I haven't gone through everything yet, like based on how often and how frequent to do everything. So I will do that later. It just takes me a really long time to read. This is the only way I can read these pamphlets. It's if I use my camera and zoom in to read it like this. So yeah, there's a lot of things you really want to make sure you're doing correctly so that you don't cause any harm or injury or even just wasting your pulses to do it wrong. So make sure you read this booklet. I will definitely read this booklet after this and then in here we have three little compartments we have the power cord and adapter here everything's connected this is not a wireless device you have to have it plugged in for it to work because it uses a lot of energy well not like it's not going to raise your power bill significantly but the device is not strong enough to use like as a chargeable device because it'll just run out too quickly Okay, I'm just going to go over the accessories really quickly. You get a pair of sunglasses, basically. You can wear your own sunglasses, but it does come with sunglasses, which is really nice. I have seen other IPL devices that don't include sunglasses, and I feel like that's pretty important. Uh, based on my research as well, from like a dermatologist, they say it, does, it shouldn't damage your eyes, but it can cause uh, irritation or just discomfort basically if you're light sensitive, sensitive to light or you have other, you know, eye conditions, which I do. So make sure to wear those just to be safe. And it comes with a little disposable razor here. Looks like a double bladed razor, just your standard disposable. Everything came sealed and packaged, really, which is really nice. And the device itself comes in a little wrap so that the device does not get scratched or damaged during packaging. Let's just go over what this device looks like. It kind of looks like a Pantene Pro-V shampoo bottle. At least that's what mine looks like. <laughs> and they're all kind of similar but they are can be a little different. So on the back here we have some more air vents with the um, power cord plug to go in there. It is hefty, it doesn't, it's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel cheap. It has some weight to it. And then there is a LCD screen on here, which I can happily say I can read without having to use a magnifier or anything like that. Uh, those who are new to my channel, I have a lot of vision issues. So I am legally blind, colorblind, etc., etc., And reading small font like pamphlets and tiny, tiny LCD screens are really hard for me sometimes. But as you will see in later clips, you will see that the font on here is really big and is really easy to read. So I'm happy about that. Everything's nicely polished and smooth. There is a bit of like a rose gold accent on the front here. And this is where the IPL light actually comes out of, this little rectangular square. They say to make sure to clean this before and after each use with a lint-free wipe or you can even use a cotton swab if you can't get your finger in there. Um, on here is kind of like an invisible button. Let me try to zoom in here. Well, it's not, it was invisible to me because everything blends together, but as I zoom in, I can see it's quite clear that is a power button. At first, I was holding down this big button down here and wondering why it wasn't turning on. And then I looked at the manual and they're like, no, the, bu the button is right under the screen. And so I felt it and I was like, oh, there's the button. Okay, so you're gonna hold the power button down for three seconds and the LCD, um, basically once you plug in the device, um, the LCD screen will turn on, but the device will not be on. Um, it's going to say off on here and then you press and hold for three seconds and then it will turn on and it will make like a little very quiet fan noise and there's a vent here that they say make sure you don't block with your hands so when you hold the device you're going to want to probably hold it with the fan facing you so that your fingers don't block it and your thumb can hold up here this is the 
um, activator basically to have the pulse turn on each time you can just pulse it once by clicking once and having it turn on or you can press and hold and it will just automatically go every like two seconds or so so you, it'll pulse and then you move it and then it'll pulse move it pulse move it and it's kind of called the slide method if you've seen other IPL uh, videos what else was there oh yeah oh the power button also acts as a intensity button if you're not pressing and holding for three seconds if you just click it once it will turn the intensity level from one to five depending on how many times you press it and then there is a little fan symbol on the right hand bottom that shows you that the fan is running and the device is ready to use and on okay and once you push it on your skin the whole LCD and everything displayed will start blinking, letting you know that it's ready to be pulsed because there is a sensor here that if the whole um, light window isn't covered, it won't work. So you have to make sure that it is completely covered, which is fine for me because I'm not like a super bony person. But I think if you're really skinny and bony, you might have to press down a little harder. But not an issue i had no problems with that and this device comes with 999,999 uh, uses basically pulses so every time you pulse that's one and there's a countdown there's a counter on the screen once it's on that will count down every pulse and i will show you in a clip here that i did both my legs upper and uh, lower legs and it used up quite a lot of pulses so i'm really glad that i went for this uh, higher pulse count option this was actually really affordable on amazon i will put the link down below in the in the description box if you're interested in checking out more detailed information reading the reviews and also looking at the price now know that amazon prices do change but i bought this let's see it was you know what i forgot i'm gonna have to double check but it was definitely less than a hundred dollars i think i was like maybe sixty dollars i believe it was 80 89 dollars and then there was like a 35 dollar per 35 dollar off coupon so it came out to about 55 or 56 dollars and then plus tax and shipping actually i think it was free shipping so plus tax it made it to about like 60 dollars something around there which is really affordable for an ipl laser uh, whether or not this works i'm not sure yet because i just did my first treatment on my legs today but before i continue any other treatments i just knew what to do based on my research from watching other ipl uh, hair removal device videos so i'm going to finish reading this pamphlet first i was just a little bit too excited but i'm gonna finish reading this pamphlet to get all the information and then i will do an update video and show you the progress of my hair growth in the next time and what else do i need to say about this okay here is a chart from the pamphlet that you can just pause the video and screenshot if you're on your device or mobile uh, this shows you the hair color versus skin color chart and whether or not you should use this device or should not or whether it's safe or not so definitely make sure to reference this before buying any IPL device and this is going to be your another important chart to maybe take a screenshot of which shows you the operation level and what does it say it says operation level and circle table basically it tells you what level to uh, do your treatment on whether it's one to five what's recommended based on your skin tone and the area of your body so there's like armpits legs etc etc hopefully you can read this uh, maybe you can just screenshot it and zoom in and then it also tells you how many times you can go over that same area for example, for my skin tone, which is the lightest for the armpits, I can do a level three to five, and I can go over the same area about three to four times. Pretty cool technology because when I got originally had my laser hair removal, it was such a hassle to have to keep going back to the medical clinic, the office, whatever you want to call it, and get it done. It took a lot of time driving. I mean, the sessions were pretty quick, but at the same time, 
um, yeah, I was just really intrusive in my day. It was really, really expensive. But for me, because I'm so light skinned and my hair is super jet black, basically my skin is so light and see through that. Even if like, imagine this with my armpit, I would shave and then you could still see like little black dots that were under my skin. That was my hair not coming out yet. So it looked like I had a five o'clock shadow all the time. And people would, you know, well, at least I would think that people would thought I didn't shave, but I did. So yeah, it was pretty hairy. So I definitely, I had my late, I had laser on my armpits and my upper lip area. I believe it was only those two spots and it was about like a lot. It was in the thousands. And back then I was balling because I was, you know, hustling, working so many jobs, just doing, doing the most working, making money of the entrepreneurial life style. And so I had the money to spend. Definitely, I would not recommend spending that much money if it's not in your budget, but you know yeah now they came out with this and back then i thought like why can't they just have like an at-home treatment and i have tried like this other brand i forget what it was called it came out a long time ago too it was like really small and you had to like replace the blades all the time and it, and it hurt and it stung and whatever it got hot this one i must say after trying it it didn't hurt it was literally pain-free i tried on the first level and i was like i feel nothing so i just jumped to five because you know just wanted to test it out, see my pain tolerance, and for everyone, it's going to be different. For me, on my legs, I only tried my legs. I didn't try any other sensitive areas, so I'm unsure what that will feel like. Again, I will update you guys on my next video about this IPL laser over time. And it literally did not hurt at all. It didn't feel hot. The device itself got really hot and even the button got hot. So hot that um, it started to kind of feel like my thumb was getting uncomfortably hot. So I had to turn it off and then turn it back on. But the light itself and on my skin didn't hurt. It was just the actual device itself was just getting so hot. And I think it might have been because I was holding it wrong and I was blocking the fan. So definitely don't block the fan because I was holding it this way facing me when I definitely recommend you hold it this way instead so you don't block the fan in the vents. But yeah, overall, I'm really excited to do my armpits since I've been, um, I'm going to be posting some workout videos and my fitness journey and stuff like that. And I didn't want like miscellaneous hairs on my armpits or my legs and things like that in the video. Uh, yeah, because like I said, I can't see very well. So to me, I look hairless, but I can feel the hairs on my body. So I know they're there. So yeah, definitely. My husband lets me know when it's time for me to shave because he's like, uh, you got some dragon whiskers in your armpit. Oh, so speaking of the fact that I had my laser hair removal done, like probably over 10 years ago, I do have some hair regrowth coming back. So I have like maybe like five hairs sprouting on my right armpit and left armpit that you know don't necessarily need shaving all the time but they do grow out and i can't pluck myself because i can't see them and i just pinch myself so this was definitely an option that i was looking into another thing is that this is a hair reducer it can definitely reduce your hair by like certain percentages some people see 50 percent less hair some people 80 some people 100 but you do have to upkeep so even with professional hair laser removal laser hair removal you have to go back for touch-up sessions, which again are very expensive. So the fact that this now came out is awesome, especially uh, if we have another quarantine session and you can't really go out. I'm not really comfortable going out anymore. I'm kind of just a homebody. I just stay home, do my own thing. And I kind of just let myself go. Like I don't really take care of myself. So my resolution recently is to kind of do more self-care things like getting healthier, getting my body back after having a baby and like kind of pampering and taking care of myself like what I used to do before, you know, I got married and had a baby and things like that. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how this works. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment box down below. Let me know if you've ever tried IPL laser treatments, um, IPL light treatments or professional laser treatments or both. And maybe um, I can do a video in the future comparing the two. But I can just tell you right now, this is definitely more cost effective. Whether it works or not, unsure because I have seen other people 
say that their level 5 hurts on them and then some people say they feel nothing so I'm not sure if it's the device strength or if it's just people's different pain tolerance levels though I do have a very high pain tolerance since I have um, been in pain like a long time I have a chronic nerve condition which makes me constantly in pain so in a way I'm kind of used to always being in pain so maybe that's why I don't feel it who knows anyways I rambled on enough in this video uh, the main points I just wanted to share was that make sure you fit the criteria before buying this product to test out otherwise you'll be wasting your money or potentially putting yourself in harm always wear the protective eye sunglasses and make sure to read your manual fully and thoroughly which i will be doing right now before doing any other sessions a couple other things i forgot to mention was that the pamphlet says it takes about 8 to 12 weeks to see results so you're going to have to be consistent with it and it also says for the first month to do treatments three to five times a week and after two months to do it every week and then the third month every two weeks and then the fourth month i believe every month and then to touch up after that it also says to not uh use the device over tattoos or dark moles or spots or freckles because remember the light targets melanin or pigment in your skin and so it can damage or burn you so make sure so, you remember that i will definitely keep you updated on my progress and any new information i learn about this high ipl hair removal device make sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified of when i post next and thumbs up this video ring that notification bell so you will know next time i post an ipl video or anything interesting that you may want to watch leave a comment down below do you think this will work or not let's see let's take a poll and see if this will work on my hairy beastly body anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching